Hey, let's take a look at how to create a side-scrolling game of a UFO over the city being controlled with the keyboard up and down and also shooting lasers. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to open the Blush plugin. And in the Blush plugin, you're going to find a collection that I made called Cityscapes. And on Cityscapes, you're going to have different compositions for cities. And I'm also going to add the one that has a UFO and an alien. Now, I want to create my cityscape, so I'm going to just duplicate this guy and I'm going to create an outer layer with them. And now I can select all of these and I can go and say edit with blush. Once they're selected, I can just click randomize and it randomizes all the elements, all the buildings inside it. I'm actually going to change some of them to not be Big Apple, but maybe downtown, a small city. And this one is going to be a town. So I have my layout and now I need to duplicate these three. I'm going to put them all the way to the end. That way we're going to be able to create a loop on this animation. And I'm going to turn this into a component called Cityscapes. I'm going to turn my UFO into a component. Now I'm going to add an instance of my UFO and I'm going to add a frame to it. And then I'm going to make this frame a little bit tall. And this is going to be the distance that the UFO goes up and down. And I'm going to turn it into a component. Now that it's a component, I'm going to add a couple of variants. Now, each variant is going to be a movement of our UFO on the vertical position. So I'm going to move my UFO, one, two, three, four, 32 pixels up. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to say again, one, two, three, four, 32 pixels up and so on. Okay, so now we have all the variants of our UFO moving up and down. So now we need to add prototyping that controls one movement to the other. So I'm going to go to prototype and I'm going to say that from here, it moves to here when a key or gamepad is pressed. And I'm going to say that when it goes up, it's when it moves to that one. And I'm going to say that it smart animates. I'm going to say that it goes is in and out. And I'm going to say that it does it after 100 milliseconds. I'm going to do the same with this one, but I also want to be able to go back. So I need to add another one that goes back and it says on key gamepad, but it goes down. And now I have to do the same with all of these. So now we need an animation of our cityscape. So it's moving in the background. So I'm going to create first a frame and I'm going to put an instance of our cityscape here. Now I'm going to turn this into a component and I'm going to add a variant. And on this variant, I want this component to move. So I have to move it all the way to the right. Now we need an animation to it. So now we go to prototype and we say that A, it animates to this. And I'm going to say that it, it goes in a linear animation. And I'm going to say that it goes after a delay and a delay of one millisecond and it smarts animates, but I want it to be like maybe 5,000 milliseconds. That's going to be like five seconds. So this animation is going to be taking five seconds to loop. And I'm going to say that it goes back to once it reaches this end. And I'm going to say that also after a delay, maybe one millisecond. And I'm going to say that it's instant, just instantly go back. That way it would just feel like seamless. Now let's create a frame where our movie is actually in. Let's add one instance of our UFO. And now let's add an instance of our city. So, okay, now let's press play. So there you go. Now we have our animation of our UFO. When I press up, the UFO goes up. When I press down, it goes down. And the background is just moving uh, seamlessly. Now, if we want to, we can also make our UFO fire a laser. So for that, let's just make a rectangle. Let's make it red. And then let's turn this into a component and let's change the width of the container. Now let's add a variant. And in this variant, let's put the laser all the way to the right and let's change the opacity to zero. So it starts at 100% and it moves to the right and then it disappears. So now we just need to add an interaction that goes from here to here. It works after a key being pressed and I'm going to say that it works with the space bar. And I'm going to say that it's smart animates 150 milliseconds, so it's fast. And I'm going to say that it goes back after a delay, one millisecond, and it just animates instantly. Now let's put this laser on the UFO, behind our UFO, let's press play. Now, every time I press the space bar, it shoots lasers and it can still move up and down. So cool. 